25 years ago, I stumbled upon a PC game. It was a kaleidoscopic fantasy reimagining, exploring the body of work of a musician still very dear to my heart. Today, we are exploring a 1994 release for Macintosh and Windows 3.1 computers entitled Interactive from the artist who was at the time simply known as and formerly known as Prince. During the blossoming multimedia era of the early 1990s, Prince was having a bit of a crisis with his then record company, Warner Brothers Records, as he felt they were restricting his creativity by limiting his ability to release new material as he saw fit. This was a catalyst that led him to explore other creative outlets. The culmination of his frustration was the now famous June 7, 1993 name change to the unpronounceable symbol and the announcement of his retirement, stating that he would no longer be releasing new albums, but instead he was to pursue alternative media projects including live theatre, interactive media, nightclubs and motion pictures. Prince began to record new material with no intention of submitting it to his record company. This material made it into projects such as the short-lived 1993 musical production called Glam Slam Ulysses, loosely based on Homer's Odyssey, featuring a combination of live performances and video with 13 previously unreleased songs, one of which was titled Interactive. Another project, The Beautiful Experience, a TV special first aired in the UK in April of 1994 incorporated some of the material from Glam Slam Ulysses, including interactive, live performances and other videos, such as The Most Beautiful Girl in the World. The TV special was interesting as it had some quite futuristic concepts for the time. It predates the general public use of the internet, but portrays offering fans the ability to stream music videos via a paid software-based distribution service. This is something Prince himself became an early adopter of, launching an online digital service in the year 2000. Of course, being Prince, in this futuristic world, computer keyboards don't have an enter key. To get anything done, you must press come. Also in 1993, Prince opened the first of two NPG store retail outlets. The first was in his home city of Minneapolis, Minnesota, the second opened in 1994 in Camden Lock, London. I spent many a weekend hanging out in the London store, and it was here I encountered the interactive game and was awestruck. It's very simplistic by today's standards, but back then, playing this psychedelic offering jam-packed full of music and imagery that I loved in the store on what was at the time a top-of-the-range PC was a new experience for me. So, let's take a look at the game. It's unclear what Prince's intentions were in commissioning the interactive game. It certainly was not available in many outlets. I'm guessing it was mostly sold in his own stores and perhaps via mail order. Details are scarce. What is known is that Prince was very interested in the emerging multimedia PC era and saw it as another possible creative outlet. Interactive was published in 1994 by Compton's New Media and developed by Graphic Zone as a hybrid Macintosh and Windows CD-ROM and it can also be played as an audio CD containing an edit of the song Interactive. At the start of the game you arrive in a strange world via some sort of spacecraft. As you arrive you are treated to the music video to Interactive which was at the time unreleased. During this, you crash, your craft disappears only to reappear in the circled dome of a complex fashioned in the shape of Prince's symbol. With your ship gone, you appear in a spooky area with a path ahead that leads to the complex. Follow the path and enter the doors to the foyer. From here you can navigate the complex by solving puzzles that allow you to progress. 
There's not a lot of story to this game, so it can't seriously be called an adventure game. But there are puzzles to solve in order to get clues to play videos and collect pieces that when all gathered, you are treated to yet another video of an unreleased track, Endorphin Machine. So your quest is to collect the five pieces of Prince's symbol, which for some reason will repair your ship and send you on your way. Welcome to the Dawn, playground for the new power generation. There are over 500 experiences to choose from. Please come. You will find one piece in each area or main room in the complex. If you're familiar with games such as the classic Myst, you'll know how to play this, as it is heavily inspired by the gameplay found in Myst. Not much Prince knowledge is required to solve these puzzles, although there are a few where you need to put some audio clips in order and know the dates of some tours, but nothing too taxing. Although your main task is to retrieve the pieces of the symbol, there are many other areas to explore. You can explore many areas of the environment and interact with objects. There are tons of audio and video clips of course in early 1990s low fidelity get, get, get the beat. a mixing desk where you can sample a Prince song and make your own mix Video interviews, lots of photos, an instrumental karaoke version of Kiss, and even a tour through Prince's wardrobe looking at past outfits. Touch me. No, touch me. Well, this is definitely an interesting version of choose the left door or choose the right door. Hmm, an interesting choice of video clips in Prince's boudoir.
It is obvious from the attention to detail and the content in this game that Prince himself must have been actively involved in the design and decision making process, very much like any other of his creative endeavours. Being an old game, you won't have much luck playing this on modern systems. I played this on a real Power Mac G4 running OS 9, and it runs great, although I have used the Mac OS 9 emulator Sheep Shaver to capture footage for the purposes of this video. The game is virtually unknown to anyone outside of the Prince community, and is quite scarce, fetching hefty prices on eBay especially after the artist's tragic death in 2016. Luckily, images of the game are fairly easy to find online, if you know where to look. There are even versions packaged up in a DOSBox image running Windows 3.1 that will work nicely on Windows 10. Interactive is not an essential must-play, unless you, like me, are an avid enthusiast of Prince and his body of work. My fandom was at its peak during this era of his career, the 1990s. It was my era, and so nostalgia plays a big part in this for me. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this interesting. Please let me know in the comments, and give the video a like if you feel it deserves it. Did you play this back in the day? I'd love to hear from other fans about their experiences. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And so, until next time, welcome to the dawn.